Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. To be honest, I don't have a long introduction for you today. I have no news too late, no insight to share. So I'll just read this that was passed to me a while ago under somewhat strange circumstances. It feels right to read it today. Our Lord Jesus Christ loves you forever. He will make a way out of no way even for you. Be encouraged by this and don't give up hope. Please take a moment to thank him. God bless you. This note was passed to me by a total stranger. When I was out talking to my mum one day, he appeared, passed me the paper and walked off. I never saw his face. They asked both my mother and my wife who had been stood nearby if they could give a description. They couldn't. I've carried the paper in my wallet for a couple of months. I'm not even sure why I chose now to read it on this show. It's Numbers chapter 3 today. Let us open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers chapter 3 Now this is the history of the generations of Aaron and Moses, in the day that Yahweh spoke with Moses in Mount Sinai. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab the firstborn, Nabihu, Elizar, and Ephemah. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the priests who were chosen, whom he made holy to minister in the priest's office. Nadab and Abihu died before Yahweh, when they offered strange fire before Yahweh, in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children. Elizar and Ephemah ministered in the priest's office in the presence of Aaron their father. He always spoke to Moses, saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near, and set them before Aaron the priests, that they may minister to him. They shall keep his requirements, and the requirements of the whole congregation before the tent of meeting, to do the service of the tabernacle. They shall keep all the furnishings of the tent of meeting, and the obligations of the children of Israel to do the service of the tabernacle. You shall give the Levites to Aaron and the Syrian sons, they are wholly given to him on behalf of the children of Israel. He shall appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall keep their priesthood. The stranger who comes near shall be put to death. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Look, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, instead of all the firstborn who opened the womb among the children of Israel, and the Levites shall be mine. For all the firstborn are mine. On the day that I struck down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I made holy to me all the firstborn in Israel, both man and animal. They shall be mine. I am Yahweh. Yahweh spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, Count the children of Levi by their father's houses, by their families. You shall count every male from a month old and upward. Moses counted them according to Yahweh's word, as he was commanded. These were the sons of Levi. By their names, Gershon and Kohath, and Mariari. These are the names of the sons of Gershon, by their families, Libni and Shimni. The sons of Kohath, by their families, Amram and Hazar, Hebron and Uziel. The sons of Mariari, by their families, Malai and Mushi. These are the families of the Levites, according to their father's houses. Of Gershon was the family of the Libanites and the family of the Shimonites. These are the families of the Gershonites. Those who were counted of them according to the number of other males from one fold and upward, even those who were counted of them were 7,500. The families of the Gershonites shall encamp behind the tabernacle westward. The prince of the father's house of the Gershonites shall be Elisaph, the son of Elal. Did you see other sons of Gershon, the tent of meeting, shall be the tabernacle, and the tent, its covering, and the screen for the door, the tent of meeting, and the hangings of the court, and the screen for the door of the court, which is by the tabernacle, and around the altar, and its cords for all its service. al Quaf was the family of the Amorites, and the family of the Hittites, and the family of the Hebronites, and the family of the Uziels. These are the families of the Gohahites. According to the number of all the males, from one fold and upward, 
there were 8,600, keeping the requirements of the sanctuary. The families of the sons of Korath shall encamp on the south side of the tabernacle. The prince of the father's house of the families of the Koranites shall be Elisphan, the son of Uziel. Their duty shall be the ark, the table, the lampstand, and the altars, the vessels of the sanctuary with which they minister, and the screen and all its service. Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, shall be prince of the princes of the Levites, with the oversight of those who keep the requirements of the sanctuary. Of Mohari was the family of the Mahalites, and the family of the Mushites. These are the families of Mahari, those who were counted of them, according to the number of all the males from month old and upward, was 6,200. The prince of the father's house of the families of Mahari was Uriel, the son of Abihel. They shall encamp on the north side of the tabernacle. The appointed duty of the sons of Mahari shall be the tabernacle's boards, its bars, its pillars, its sockets, all its instruments, all its service, the pillars of the cords around it, their sockets, their pins and their cords. Those who encamp before the tabernacle eastward in front of the tent of meeting, toward the sunrise, shall be Moses and Aaron and his sons, keeping the requirements of the sanctuary for the duty of the children of Israel. The stranger who comes near them shall be put to death. All who were counted of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron counted the commandments of Yahweh by their families, all the males from month old and upward, were twenty-two thousand. Yahweh said to Moses, Count all the firstborn males of the children of Israel, from month old and upward, and take the number of their names. You shall take the Levites from me. I am Yahweh. Instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, the livestock of the Levites, instead of all the firstborn among the livestock of the children of Israel, Moses counted as Yahweh commanded him. All the firstborn among the children of Israel, or the firstborn males according to the number of names, from month old and upward, of those who were counted of them, were 22,273. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the livestock of the Levites instead of their livestock, and the Levites shall be mine, I am Yahweh. For the redemption of the 273 of the firstborn of the children of Israel, who exceeded the number of the Levites, shall take five shekels apiece for each one. After the shekel of the sanctuary, you shall take them. The shekel is twenty gerhars, and you shall give the money with which their remainder is redeemed to Aaron and to his sons. Moses took the redemption money from those who exceeded the number of those who were redeemed by the Levites. From the first one of the children of Israel, he took the money, one thousand three hundred sixty-five shekels. After the shekel of the sanctuary, Moses gave the redemption money to Aaron and to his sons, according to Yahweh's word. As Yahweh commanded Moses. Yeah.